So there's tons to see here. I'm excited for the Batman and I think this is my way of expressing myself. Are you as excited for the Batman? I know a lot of people are coming here and seeing um, the figures and liking the, the like diorama videos that I'm doing. Uh, that's really cool to see because I, I like doing it as well. It's, it's quite nice to fantasize about what's going to happen in a movie and as to how much you can capture that on video with um, just these figures and diorama pieces. So I've made a lot of new stuff and I just wanted to give you like a little bit of a behind the scenes update instead of all these like um, real videos for uh, the Batman figures and the scenarios of the movie or anything like that. So what we see right here, what I've made new recently and I've made some videos about it. So Catwoman, this is just a Mesco Catwoman with the Geek Mechanics head sculpt. I tried to update my um, painting a little bit and I think it, it's working quite nice. Sometimes it's difficult to capture skin tone or eyes, but working on it, improving, that's good. We see a lot of the goons. Some of the goons have been improved. It means uh, eyes. Some of the head sculpts are not great yet. Um, and I can't make them great because I want to just uh, recast like this head and put them on that one and then repaint that one because that one looks silly. For example, or this one had a uh, no shirt, but he had a um, uh, green bomber with a hood attached, but he's only wearing a gray hoodie with a green bomber with no hood. So I wanted to get that as close as possible. So I've bought the clothes and all other things, but it's all coming in. It's still on the way and um, just difficult to plan this out because sometimes I think I want to get this. So when I get this, I want to update that. So I already put some money into this figure and I want to purchase something new. It's costly, but I think it's nice. This is a lovely way of collecting for myself. This is the most excited I've been in collecting for well, ever, ever, basically. But just since I started, I, I loved this the most. It's just a lot. So, all of these goons are cool. And I want to finish them again. This is the main guy, but I had to get these uh, pants. Give them to uh, Drifter Bruce Wayne, which I made. So, he, this is going to get new pants. But I can't find correct cargo trousers in black that are elastic like these ones because these ones are sold out so it's a little bit difficult and it's to do a lot of things to uh, complete this so gps log clothes and fortnite havoc figure so this is most of the figures will be this body the fortnite havoc oh, fortnite havoc body um this is most of the bodies this is riddler all the goons um the uh, riddler goon is something new that i've made um, it's right here. So all of these figures are most likely this body cut up to save plastic and space in the um, in the clothes so it's easier to put on. So I printed out this. I saw this on a press picture somewhere. Um, printed it or like screen, made, made a screenshot, printed it, and then that's that. So one of the Riddler goons, I'm planning on making around five of him because I've purchased around 12 more of these just to make more of these figures. I've updated um, the Riddler with new glasses. You guys have seen those in the, the newest like diorama video for Riddler. These are glasses from the DC Multiverse Alfred figure with the multiple head sculpts. And one of the head sculpts I think is from the 1966 Alfred. And I got the glasses off, and I think those are perfect match. That's that. Little update on that. Um, we got this figure, this this scared guy, Jaylee Kurgo, I think. Seen him more and more. I gave him a vest, it was quite expensive. Now we have all the the vests stacked, but I think it looks good still. And it's not like fully posed now because the the hood is like over overlap on the um, or like a big overlay on the red hoodie. It's just, it needs a little bit more adjustment, but just to show you fairly quick. Okay, some of the guys, some uh, some bats, some uh, weapons. We've seen that in the trailer too. And one of the cool things as well is this VC Toys um, suit body. And I think it's looking very, very cool. 
with the Geek Mechanics head sculpt, so a lot of the head sculpts I used are by Geek Mechanics. So this Robert Pattinson one, this uh, Catwoman, the Batman and the Batman armors, all Geek Mechanics. This is also Geek Mechanics. This is a Commissioner Gordon head sculpt. And like Jeffrey Wright, I'm still trying to paint that and like finish it, but I don't have a body yet, which demotivates me to continue for the moment. So a lot of things in the works. Also, I think it's cool when you can get excited about stuff like this. Screenshotted a lot of the posters that uh, photographers made. I cut them out randomly, put them on like pretty tough with glue, wrapped some around the wheels, around the sides, and I put a, uh, a rope on it. So and like put it in a knot. So the people of Gotham couldn't put more stuff in here. And it's uh, marked with drops, question mark, with the Zodiac-like sign. This was really cool to work on. How excited can you be for a movie that I'm going to be excited to <laughs> customize a garbage bag in this, this scale? A lot of the diorama stuff as well, most of it is the, like Gotham stuff, so all of the uh, fireplaces, the bookshelves from the Toy Biz 2002 Spider-Man stuff. I will put an overlay on this video so you can just see what I'm talking about. We see all the like little uh, alleyway dioramas, everything like that. Even this, all of these items right here, newspapers, little tables. I purchased like last weekend 40 euros worth of like lists for um, just pictures, newspapers, candles, glasses, and some fireplace accessories, plants, perfumes, everything you could put in the um, office diorama, which is this one reversed. Again, I'll show you. Also this uh, McFarlane Tortured Souls diorama piece, figure. Don't really know if this is supposed to be an action figure because you can't really do anything with it. Customized him a little bit, put some uh, band-aids on here and here as well, put some paint, repainted him, put some extra tubes, made it look extra grotesque, more Seven-like. I hope it's going to be that kind of movie. It means of uh, the style feeling, uneasy feeling when Riddler is around, when the victims are uh, shown, displayed, talked about. That's just what I want to go for. and. All of these things are extra and I'm looking for all of the stuff like these wooden pallets, I think are called uh, for any alleyway. So you could just make some nice, uh, nice stuff, uh, some crates, all of these little things that are right, really exciting. Maybe for a future project, some metal chains from this other uh, figure that I have. Um, this one as well, I put all the chains off him and uh, just want to use that for something else. So cool figures. I love working on this and just want to show you guys an update. So more will come. Uh, you can do requests. I will basically film everything in the diorama with the colors and whatnot. That's it for this video. Let me know if you enjoy it. Do you like watching these videos? Do you think it's interesting to see these behind the scenes or my thoughts and motivation to make these figures. So let me know. Let's talk about the Batman 2022.